Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. It's The In Show, Australia's only show dedicated to innovation from Adelaide, Australia and across the globe. It's David Grice and Troy Sincock. We're talking to the inspirational people who are innovating and changing our lives with their big ideas. And if you love your podcasts, check out the AustralianPodcastAwards.com. The In Show has been nominated for an award in the business and marketing category and we'd love your vote. We sure would. And just validate how important we are. <laughs> <laughs> well, more so the people we're speaking to. And, you know, this is no exception. You know, people... Uh, inspired by all sorts of things happening around them, sometimes within the industry they work and oftentimes outside of that industry. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, remember a few months ago we had Craig Swan from Loop Labs and, mm. and he was talking about this platform that he developed to in, enable anybody who had a bit of an interest in music to create uh, some music using loops. Yeah. Well, I mean, he had kids from, you know, five, six years old right through to 80-year-old people that are, that are developing all this music just, you know, and having an absolute ball with it. And people that are not traditional musicians you know, able to access music making in a way that was, wasn't you know, before available to them. Mm. And the thing that really it was blew my mind about when we asked him about what's in for him, I thought it would be something around the industry, but he was talking about how AI and other emerging technologies are impacting the two largest industries across the USA, which is transportation and secretary slash assistants, you know, like so the EAs and the PAs that, that you know, executives have. It's all about how it's changing those jobs. By far the most interesting thing that is going to happen is certainly uh, artificial intelligence. And, you know, to me that's the most interesting thing ever. I mean, particularly in America, even a lot of people aren't realizing this. It may be similar here, maybe different, but, you know, the, the two biggest occupations in America is transportation and uh, secretarial, you know, uh, assistant type work. And those are the very two industries that are going to be, like, done first. So when you think about a technology base that is knocking out the two biggest job sectors like that is insane like that's mm. that's a huge amount of displacement and I think a lot of people really don't understand some of the implications have not gone down that rabbit hole of where these things are going and the impact it's going to have and I know that I've learned that here you have one of the top five sort of centers for, for AI so I'm sure these ideas are being bounced around a lot but I think there needs to be a huge education on, on that because I mean even talking to people in the legal profession uh, people that uh, talk about autonomous cars a lot of people don't understand and which I think is interesting is the ethics of this stuff. I mean, ethics has to be coded into things and people aren't thinking about that. So when a car is going down the street and it sees everything, does it decide, well, do I take out these two people that are this age or these four that are this age? And when you have the real social graph tied into that where it starts making okay, well, these people aren't adding as much to society as they are, so I'm going to do this, or do I buy my Volvo? Because it tells me, hey, buy a Volvo, we'll make sure that we always kill the passenger and not you, and we have a choice. I mean, <laughs> these, these, are the, these are things that are like actually coded into the software. So to me, it's fascinating because I think a lot of people aren't giving it enough thought. That's Craig Swan from Loop Labs. We are back to Austin, Texas on the next In Show podcast. And David, you were swept up in everything that was going on um, during South by Southwest Festival. 120,000 people converge on that city over a very short period of time. No, it's ridiculous. And uh, and just the excitement and the energy that's around. Uh, um, you know, there's one whole street that is like all of these old weatherboard houses. Houses, and every single one of those weatherboard houses are venues and countries actually take over those houses as, as a part of, of what they do. So we had Australia House, for example, which was all about Australian music that was actually being represented over there and there were seminars and workshops just on their own in Australia House as well as Canada House and this, you know, the British Embassy, which was another place like that. And it was just, it's really about seeing how communities and countries are actually coming together and being represented in this one particular street is just unbelievable. There's so much energy. It's amazing. And surprisingly, amidst all that, you managed to sit down with the mayor of Austin, uh, Steve Adler. I certainly did, and uh, what an inspirational man. I'm, I'm very fortunate that the Lord Mayor here in Adelaide uh, was able to set that up for us. Um, given that Austin and Adelaide have a sister city relationship, uh, it kind of made sense that I got a chance to sit down with him, and uh, he gave me 40 minutes of his time, which was unbelievable. That's the next In Show podcast, Steve Adler, Mayor of Austin. The In Show, what's in? Subscribe to the In Show podcast on iTunes. A Dave and the Beanstalk production.
Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to oscastnetwork.com for details.